This is Twit. Okay, Steve, I got to find out. Am I how much trouble am I in with SVG? Oh, These are okay. everywhere. I mean, yes. Um, and thus, the cause for concern. So, yeah. to to set the stage here, um, back on February fifth, Sophos's headline was "Scalable Vector Graphics Files Pose a Novel Phishing Threat." No before posted on March twelfth. 245% increase in SVG files used to obfuscate phishing payloads. <sighs> On March 28th, ASEX headline, SVG phishing malware being distributed with analysis obstruction feature. On March 31st, Mimecast wrote, Mimecast threat researchers have recently identified several campaigns utilizing scalable vector graphics attachments in credential phishing attacks. On April 2nd, Force Points headline, An old vector for new attacks. How obfuscated SVG files redirect victims. On April 7th, Keep Aware's headline, SVG phishing email attachment, a recent targeted campaign. On April 10th, Trust Waves writes, Pixel Perfect Trap, the surge of SVG born phishing attacks. Viper wow. Security Group's April 16th headline was SVG phishing attacks, the new trick in the cyber criminals playbook. On April 23rd, Indexer blogs under emerging phishing techniques, new threats threats and attack vectors and last month on may 6th cloud force one which is cloudflare's security guys posted under the headline svgs the hackers canvas oh god <laughs> so oh boy like i said holy <laughs> smokes okay all this leads to one question and i mean this with the utmost sincerity and all due respect when i ask what idiot decided <laughs> that allowing javascript to run inside a simple two-dimensional vector-based image format would be a good idea wait really? what come on <laughs> what? you're kidding me believe it or not the svg scalable vector graphics file format based on xml can host html css and even JavaScript, and it's all by design. So you could put arbitrary JavaScript in an SVG graphics file? Yes. And how does it get triggered? It runs on by design. <laughs> it is un when you open the file? believable. Oh my when, God. No, when it's displayed. When, as that's what I mean. Yeah, when it's, when it's used. Yeah. Oh, okay, my God. Now, now, let's just remember. I was once famously on the receiving end of some ridicule for stating my opinion that the infamous Windows Metafile vulnerability, which allowed WMF files to contain not only inherently benign interpreted drawing actions, but also native Intel code. I said it was almost certainly not a bug, but a deliberate feature sure. added as a cool hack back then to allow images to also carry executable code as we know the world i wrote in the show notes went nuts it lost its shit is the technical phrase when this windows metafile so-called vulnerability was discovered or rather rediscovered and it was none other than mark rasanovich who also examined the native Windows Metafile interpreter, as I had, who concluded it sure does appear to have been intentional. Oh, wow. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast, or just click one of the links below. Security Now.